Hi guys, welcome to Deliver Studios. This is another bumper package. We'll be looking at the Snap Recyclable Library. Uh, you might have been thinking of how can I create a uh, multiple list in an activity or a fragment. I have like three lists. I need to populate. I have a dashboard. I need to have an horizontal flow. I need to have a linear flow. I need to have a staggered view together in an activity or in a fragment. All this could be cumbersome if you want to do it directly, probably using the heterogeneous flow when you need to uh, set up different uh, view order and call them with an instance, an instance of this view order display, uh, an instance of this object, which is going to be the data content display this part of this particular kind of uh, view order. But uh, it's going to be quite hard for a, a newbie or let's say an intermediate and a developer, uh, which is getting himself or herself uh, a little bit acclimatized with the advanced recycler view flow but with the advent of this library i'll tell you this is going to be done perfectly easily uh, with no glitches uh, you could have multiple recycler multiple lists let me put it that way multiple lists on an activity on a fragment you could inflate it as you like you could reuse adapter if uh, probably the content of the list are, are, are more or less the same, I mean the structure of uh, the items of a particular list are more or less the same, you could use the same adapter, you could use different adapter when they have content, different content flow, uh, you could set up a, a, a horizontal recycler view with a vertical scroll or a staggered grid with a grid, you could manipulate things easily just with this uh, library. So I'll be showing you how to achieve this. Looking at the emulator, as you can see, we have the popular movies and the top rated movies. These are two different uh, selection, but of the same uh, MAM type, the same uh, flow, because you're going to have the same title. You're going to have so that there's some attributes that are predominant to the two flow, like title, like uh, the picture, which is the thumbnail, uh, the, uh, the uh, rated. That's uh, the, the rating of the, uh, the particular movie. This is like uh, the same. You're going to have rating, but probably this different value. So we're going to be using the same adapter. We're going to be using the same items, which will be binding to the adapter. And the only thing you'll be doing is just inflating to recycle. But in a slick way, it's not going to have glitches. It's not going to break anything. It's not going to uh, amper the user experience. It's going to have the same scroll the same flow and uh it's going to be wow it's worth it a lot so we're going to be creating two horizontal flow as you can see how uh, we are for the popular movies see wow cool so it's still going to follow the same uh methodology where you could set an click listener to this to a different activity or to the detail page and uh the same thing goes to the top rate could you see that uh over there you could have a scroll which is the horizontal flow uh quite cool and uh very very handy and even if you should have all the lists under it, it gets to have you could reveal that. Uh, so it's not going to amplify it. Probably it's restricted to two views. You could use four, you could use five, you could use three, you could use one, you could use two. Depends on what you really need. So I'm going to show you another way. You could actually achieve this using the snap cycle view library. Now uh, let's head straight to code. You could see what we're expecting. You could see the level staying glued to the top, which it's quite explanatory enough that there's a popular movie scroll and there's the top rated movies. So let's head straight down to code. Uh, you need to include a dependency rather in the big gradle, the model lab session, uh, which uh, we'll be looking at now. Uh, we have a couple of dependencies used. We have the cycle of view, the card view, the glide, vomiting glide, which helps us with the image. Uh, we have retrofit because we're going to be communicating with uh, the movie DB API. And uh, we we'll need to uh, consume uh, the popular movie and the most rated movie uh, endpoints. And you have this the multi snap recycler, the multi snap recycler, very, very important. You need to add this because that's where the whole uh, gimmick actually came from. The multi snap recycler. After that, you sync Gradle, get your application set, application set ready to use. Let's look at the layout file. Uh, we have the activity main and the movie card. That's the card, which is the item and the activity main. The activity main is where we're going to include uh, the snap, the mortar snap recycle. Let's see how we actually make this flow happen. 
it's a scroll view which is the parent flat so that's going to be a full structure a full scroll structure around it in case if it's got probably extend uh downwards for for a uh, less smaller screen or, or screens or with uh with less uh pixels i know it's actually going to extend that so you might have a scroll view uh, but if you have larger screens that doesn't need to going to be working perfectly so that's the essence of the motor of the scroll view i uh, we need to see a review i'll need to get back to review let's see because review is going to actually guide us through can you see how, it, how, how it's been laid out how uh, the popular movies is the text view as you can see that's the first text view in a linear layer so you need a linear flow that stack under each other uh the first is the text view of the popular movies followed by the recycler view uh the multi snap now you don't use the mere recycler view you use a mortal snap recycler view uh tag you see that with an orientation of horizontal this one and horizontal flow uh the gravity starts the per inch 100 the snap count one uh then the center vertical for the layer of gravity so you have that set up the next is the top rated movie that's the text over here for the top rated movie so you can continue to do that if you have multiple multiple uh list you really want to talk about and it's followed by words the multi snap receptor i need to i need you to look at something quickly the snap count here is two it's not one so that it's not going to be stacked on each other you have to give it space like give it a continual so you mean this should sit underneath the other this should sit underneath the other uh, the, the second one just like the way it's going to flow just like when you're setting the layout weight uh when you're trying to to to, to break out your layout, you're trying to, uh, to, to separate your layout. So cool. So that's the second recycler view, and you need to give it an ID. The second recycler view, you could give a name which is what uh, flowing with uh, the structure of your data, and the first recycler view. So we'll be calling these IDs in the activity to bind data and to manipulate as well. So let's get to see uh, the movie card. That's bas basically the items that will be showed in the recycler view. We have an image view over there. Can you see that? Followed by a text view underneath. What's the text going to talk about? It's going to be the tie to. And uh, the next text view is the user rating, which is sitting underneath the tie to. And you have that set up. So you need to set up your card. And you make sure that you give a particular width and height to it so that it's just not going to spread uh, to cover. Because now you need it stacked side by side, which is going to form a horizontal flow. And you have to do that correctly. You have to give it the particular layout with the night. If you notice, we gave 120 by 250. So we need it, uh, it quite kind of longer than wider. That's just so that's actually going to give us room to put text, going to give us room to put the title and the, uh, the user rate. We have that set up. So you can see, uh, the full card over here. You can see, so that's, that, that's the full, uh, width night of the card. Let's move ahead to the main activity or let's see uh, the, the model. In the model, we need the movie and the movie response. Uh, the movie is the Pojo, the plane object, or the DTO, or the data, uh, where you get to uh, set up the, uh, the certain gets that you'll be needing in the course of this uh, implementation. And it's less parsable. The essence of parsable is when you could actually pass one, the, the ID of the object, and you get the or probably when you're trying to uh, put an intent, uh, next to, to an intent, and you want to pass to the second activity. Probably you need to pass all these values. You don't need to start putting intent, put extra post part, put extra adult overview, release the data from the length here, and it actually leads to a lot of problem. And uh, you can have a typographic where you're going to set a lot of things like this. And the fastest way is just implement pass label, get the structure right. After that, just pass the ID. The ID, which is the identifier of the adapter, which is the item. With that, the object could be followed alongside, and you could extract any value based on the ID. So you have an ID, just call this object and get this ID from it. From there, you get the position, they extract its appropriate value. So that's cool. Uh, so that's the essence of Fastly. Very, very useful and fast. This is the fastest right now, even faster than serializable. So I will play, I will employ you to use Fastly more in all your code we have the response over here too this is the first uh response that actually give rise to the movie uh results over here so we'll be calling these and in turn we'll be extracting values using this uh code 
After that, let's look at the API. The API, since we all know how the structure, we have the movie, uh, the, uh, the movie app of, of, of over monster. It's been rolled out. Uh, if you find this very new, just check out the movie app. I'll be able to cover a lot of milestone when it comes to delivering this application. So we have the client, the base URL over here. Uh, they get clients to actually set up the factory, uh, the JSON factory to convert uh, the, J the JSON to a readable format. So a Java object of that. And the service, in the service right here, we'll be talking about uh, the endpoints. We'll be talking about the movie popular, the top rated. So we have the methods to actually get that done for you. And you need to pass your API key. You have to do that uh, right there uh, in the Gradle and also in the build, uh, in the Gradle, the practice. Where you need to set up your API key and include it in the Gradle file. So you have that set up API key. Now let's look at the main activity. The main activity, how are we going to bind the snap cycle view to all this view? Uh, let's let's look at that very closely. Uh, cool. Let's turn that compact. And now we have two methods to do load popular and load operated. What's the popular? You get the movie DB, you instantiate the client, and you call the API service. And from there, you get the popular movies past the movie DB API token. You need to put your API key. Uh, you call the enqueue and you instantiate the callback where you need to write two methods on response and on failure. On response, you get the list, pass the get result to have the list of movies. After that, uh, if the response is successful, uh, and if the response body is not equals to null, the test you check that there is not going to be a null value return. If it's, if it's not, it goes on failure or speed out the route. A toast probably there's a problem somewhere now you need to instantiate your movie adapter you pass the context and the movie lists and what you're going to do to the snap recycle of it is a first recycle of it which is going to be the top you instantiate that with a first recycle you call its id the first recycle of you and that's just what you need that's all you just instantiate and have an object earlier you'll be calling recycle of you but this time you need to just call the multi snap recycle of you. that's all finished you call your layout manager. Definitely, you need a horizontal uh, for you to see that horizontal. And now you pass, you set the layout manager to the to the uh, instantiated manager, first manager, and also you set the adapter to the recycler view. So just change the recycler view you used to have to mortar snap recycler. View. That's all, and that's finished. That's for the first uh, item. Now let's get to look at for the top rated. So what you're going to do the same flow. You ask for the token. You enqueue uh, the call and you override the method on response and on failure. And on, on response, check if it's successful or not. And what you're going to do, you extract the list as you've done earlier. And now you instantiate the multi snap recycler view. Just that. And what you're going to do, you pass that horizontal, uh, you get the adapter, you set that to the layout manager, you set that to the recycler view. On failure, you toast out a message and you cast catch an exception if it came so that's just it. that's all the truth you can see how short and beautiful this could look like so what you need to do now you need uh, the adapter definitely because you need to bind values the same adapter that you have you can see we are replicating two adapter for the same use case it's because we just need it to flow in the same manner and we're also passing the same object uh the same um, structure of pojo because if you are actually passing different, you need to inflate different things. But it's the same structure of the Pojo. We're expecting a, 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 a picture, the title, and the user rating. That's all. The same structure. So that's the reason why we we'll stick to one adapter. Movie adapter, external recycler, we have adapter. You have the list that we call it and the context. You also pass that into the constructor. You create the view order by inflating the, the the card, which is the movie card I showed you, which is going to be the item. And on by view order, what you're going to do, you're going to have a view order already here, where you're going to set up your text view, the image view, you instantiate. Now you could move further to pass your click listener over here. I just commented that out. You could move further to do that. That's very easy. Just set your on click listener, put your object, and go to the detail activity. It's going to show that for you. So that just, it doesn't stop anything. It doesn't, it's not an invent to any flow. So what you're going to do in your bind view order, you call the view order to the to the title which is the text view you set it to the value by calling the movie list get the position with the original title which is the setter or the getter from the pojo the same thing goes to the vote average you convert uh, the string to double to get that done for you and you pass that to the user rating 
and the poster you have uh let's say uh a startup which is the the first uh length uh the the, the url to the image passing uh the poster part you concatenate that with the poster part and form a usable url and use glide to, to post that to the view place order if you need and you pull that into the thumbnail image view you get the item count by checking the list the list size that's the item uh size of the recycler view. that's all when it you have a wonderful and smooth looking application of this one that gave rise to this it's operated and the popular movies all in all is so you could see how useful this library is yes, to actually get these numbers. It's actually abstracted a lot of boilerplate codes, which you might have been doing deflating different view holder, setting up different flow to different uh, uh adapter. So this is quite handy and useful. And the only way else you need to do now, you go back to the manifest. In the manifest, you just need to add up your internet permission. Use this permission, Android permission. With that, you could shoot in your scope. So that's just the flow. I will employ you to look at it, check it out. It's very useful. You can use it in production apps. It's going to actually take a lot of boilerplate code away from your code and it's going to give you that seamless experience in no time. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this video. And I employ you to check out this uh, source code and don't forget to subscribe to the Lara Studios. We have a lot to talk about. We're coming up with bumper packages when it comes to Kotlin. Kotlin is, has come to stay and we really need to talk about that. Uh, we have to start to develop apps using Kotlin. So we'll be looking at Kotlin in different series of this uh, channel. So watch out for that. It will be coming up in different flow. And uh, it's actually going to be very educating. So thank you very, very much one more time for hanging out with me throughout this uh, video. And I'll applaud you to uh, share the video like it and uh, please uh, tell your friends about the university bye bye